Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to Family Math Number 33. Okay, Family Math 33. Here's a story about a great warrior king and a little guy who did something nice for the king. Beep, 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 beep. I did something so nice for you. And the king said, well, I'm very proud of you, little green guy. I want to give you a reward. I'm going to give you a million dollars. And the little guy said, no, 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 king. I don't want a million dollars. No, no, no. Would you just take a chessboard and put one penny in the first square, two pennies in the second square, four pennies in the third square, and just keep doubling until you get to the end. And that'll be just fine. That's all I want. It's no big deal. Right? And the king said, well, that sounds fine. I'll just do that. Okay, well, there's one penny, there's two pennies, there's four pennies. How many go in this square? Six pennies. Eight pennies. Eight pennies? Okay, so I made eight pennies here. And these two, can you just put those together into a stack for me? Okay, there's eight pennies. All right, great. Now, okay, now how many go in the next square? Sixteen. Okay, so I made sixteen pennies in, right here. Those three piles add up to sixteen pennies. Can you just put those into a nice little stack? And how many go into the next square? Sixteen, then you double 32. it. Thirty-two. Okay, so here's thirty-two. Okay, I'll make the, the bottom of it, and can you try to add those, add these two piles here to that, and that'll be 32. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we did. Okay, and then, oh, here's 64. Okay, so I made 64 pennies here, counted them out really carefully. Think we can do it? Yeah. Okay, so now what do you think? What do you, what do you think the king's thinking when he sees this pile that has 64 in it? Is the king's thinking, wow, this guy's silly, this is not a big deal at all to do? Or is he thinking, uh-oh, this might end up being a lot of pennies? It might end up being a lot of pennies. End up being a lot of pennies. Okay, what would be next? 128 pennies. 128 would go here, and the king's like, hmm, well, this, this is getting a little tall. Hmm, hmm. Have we got any pennies? Hey, hey, it looks like we're out of pennies. Okay, so when we go all the way, keep doubling, and we go all the way to the end, the piles are going to get super tall. Yeah. And they're going to get, like, a lot of pennies in them. So how many pennies do you think are going to be in the last pile? Two million. Two million? How many pennies do you think are going to be in the last pile? 50,021. 50,021? Okay. Well... Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go see. Ready? To the whiteboard! And beyond! Okay, so we are now in the whiteboard room. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have an amazing thing that we've done, we've seen with our pennies. The first square had one penny. The second square had? Two pennies. Third square had? It's, it's three pennies. No, four pennies. Four pennies. Four square had? Five pennies. Eight pennies. Fifth square had? 16. Say that number. <laughs> the 6th square had that number of pennies. <laughs> the 7th square had 64. All right, we all, we all got that? Yeah. All right, awesome. How much do you think the 8th square is going to have? 128 pennies. 128, okay. Now, here's a neat thing with powers of 2. This is, this 1 is 2 to the 0, 2 is 2 to the 1, 4 is 2, 2, 2 to the squared, 8 is 2 cubed. 16 is 2 to the 4th, 32 is 2 to the 5th, 64 is 2 to the 6th, 128 is 2 to the 7th. So we have what are called powers of 2. And you notice any pattern between the powers of 2 and the numbers on the squares? Well, the, the powers of 2 are 1 less than the numbers on the squares. Okay, so you take the number on the square, take away 1, and take 2 to that power. So 2 to the 6th, that tells you how many we have on the 7th square. That means the 64th square is going to have 2 to what power? Pennies. 63rd. 2 to the 63rd. And you want to know what 2 to the 63rd is? I happen to have it memorized. <laughs> it's actually written here on the board. 9, 2, 2, 3, 3, 7, 2, 0, 3, 6, 8, 5, 4, 7, 7, 5, 8, 0, 8. That's an enormous number. It's in fact, it's thousands, millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillion. Nine quintillion pennies. Good thing we didn't go all the way to the 64th square, because we don't have that many pennies in our jar, right? Do you think the king, the super excited king, has all that many pennies? No. No. Do you think the king's going to be sad when he sees how many pennies there are on the board? Okay, so let me show you something kind of neat about this. You ready? Ready for something neat? 
Yeah. This amount of pennies weighs, oh sorry, a penny weighs 2.5 grams, implies this many pennies weighs about 2.3 times 10 to the 16th kilograms. This is called scientific notation. It just means 2 followed by 16 zeros, or 2.3, then a 3, then 15 zeros, or however you want to think about it. But it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a huge amount of kilograms. Do you know how much, how much mass that is? 10 Mount Everests. So you would have to go to Mount Everest, pick it up, bring it back to your house, make pennies out of it, and then do that 10 times. <laughs> do you think that would be a fun day? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Why would you get Mount Everest back to your house? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that's a lot. So this is like more than an elephant. A lot more. A lot more. It's 10 Mount Everest. And then the other thing that's kind of neat is one penny is about 1.55 millimeters. So that means, you know how tall this stack is going to be? You you're ready for this? About 1.43 times 10 to the 16th meters. Okay? That is just about a light year. Do you know, how, do you know what a light year is? Yeah, it's the distance light travels in a year. It's the distance light travels in a year. Do you know how close the nearest star is? Four light years. About four light years away. So if you had four stacks like this, you could go to the nearest star. If you could climb the stack. If you could climb the stack. Well, if you were going to put that last penny on top of the stack, you'd have to climb all the way down. Oh, I can't the last penny. <laughs> Get up to the top. Pink. And hope it didn't fall over. Because you know what would happen if it fell over? It'd be like Mount Everest falling on your house. Actually, 10 Mount Everest falling on your house. Ah! I don't think our, our jar has enough for all that. But it would be a, a whole... So we were seeing how that stack got taller and taller and taller. Yeah. It'd be a light year tall. Four of these stacks would go to the nearest star. What's the name of the nearest star? Do you know? Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? Or Proxima Centauri? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Can you believe that? Well... Okay. So how many pennies do you think... Did you think were going to be in the last stack? Two million. Two million. That'd be a number that would start here. How many did you think? 50,000. 50,000. That'd be a number that would start about there. This is nine quintillion. Whoa. 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 That's a lot of pennies. Yeah. Alright. Good job, guys. Here, bring it in for a high five. Bam. Alright. Good job. Awesome. Awesome job with the penny math. <laughs>